everybody wants the long videos. Everybody wants the to be the big baller, shot caller, Josh Paints OG wearing a dog collar. I'm going to be working late tonight, so I thought I would document it for you guys. This might be a two-minute video. This might be a 30-minute video. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Let me show you what we got happening tonight. Tonight, I'll be working on the bogey for that trailer right there. You can see the trailer. It is missing the bogey because the bogey is right here. What we will be doing is I have the back end lifted up right now because there are some cracks down there and kind of everywhere. There's cracks everywhere. This, this, this is an old trailer. I think it's an 08. It hasn't hauled very heavy loads. We do not have the setup for hauling heavy loads, only legal loads. Um, there's a lot of bad welds that I'm gonna be buttering up and making look better, fixing some cracks and painting it because my name is Josh Paints and I paint rarely. Let's get right into it. So I thought I would rewatch my intro before I went any further on this project to know how I have to act the rest of the video. And I'd start this intro sounding kind of cocky. So I'm gonna have to be cocky the rest of this video. Now, before anybody says, Josh, this is an act, well, it is. Um, I showed up at seven o'clock this morning. It is currently seven o'clock in the evening. So I got my first 10 hour, 12 hours in. Um, now it's time to start the next 13. Yeah. Let's get to welding. Got to move the skid steer. I'm just making this video for those of you that don't know that I know how to operate a skid steer. I do know how to operate a skid steer. And yes, it's me. You can see it's me because it's me. Welding's done. We're gonna go ahead and pull this thing in the booth now. Um, I have the back brakes uh, released. So that way I can pivot it on this axle and push it. These are um, set so that way it doesn't roll away on me. I'll just lift it up and roll it into my booth that I kind of have to clean out first because I have, I haven't painted it in so long. I've been using this kind of as a storage room and I got a bunch of um, air ride kit stuff tore apart. So we're gonna have to clear a path and get this in there. I'd show you all the welds. I did a lot of welding. I've been welding for a long time, but there is a reason why this channel is called Josh Paints and not Josh Welds. <sighs> We're not gonna get into that right now. Here we go. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I should probably just start this clip over. Too late, we're moving. buddy oh buddy we're gonna drop into this grate right here and it's gonna suck there we go. oh yeah 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 okay bogey is in the booth ready to be taped up we're gonna lay a little bit of black paint on her tonight as of right now nothing was hurt in the process of moving this bogey in here so before you guys flip out in the comment section saying well, I would never bring my truck to you. Well, th this isn't a customer's truck because it's a trailer and it's a bogey and nothing was damaged. And I don't paint customer stuff anymore unless I have to. And if this was a customer's bogey, I just wouldn't show it in a video of how I move. You would never know what happened to your bogey. Bogies are a lot like babies. They're actually a lot more durable than one would think. I don't think I have to explain myself to you guys. I did what I did. There's no damage. Let's make this rail black. I mean, if this were a customer's bogey, it would definitely be a lot cleaner than this. We're, we're just doing like, 
a quick job on this because it's been our truck, our trailer for many, many years and we plan on keeping it for quite a while. We actually weren't even gonna sandblast this. We were just gonna touch it up, you know, with a little rattle can touch up. But I decided to just sandblast the frame rails, the outsides of the frame rails you can see here. So it's gonna look really clean. Um, and we kind of just dusted, peppered over the inside a little bit. We took a um, needle sculler, took off all the um, super thick layers of rust and we're just going to put some um, rust preventative paint over it so it's going to help preserve it for another couple years i mean it ain't we're not doing anything special it's just black so let's let's get right into it So after spending the last, I don't know, three and a half hours prepping this bogey, I, I like saying the word bogey if you haven't noticed, prepping it to paint, I decided that I'm not going to have the energy to paint it tonight. Psych! <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Let's go check it out. So here it is. It didn't turn out that bad. I... I so here it is. I, I think it turned out pretty good for what it is. The paint that I'm using is super thick. So sadly, I got a couple like, where are they? You can see them just right, right there is one. I got a couple lines in it um, because I was using an airless sprayer and that obviously gives it quite a bit of um, texture. So I might sand these flat rails down and reshoot them. Not sure. Honestly, it doesn't look bad for what it is. Like I said, this is just kind of a, um, Get a couple coats of paint on it so that way it'll last a couple more years. Yeah, see there you can see a couple of the lines in it. That really upsets me. But then I didn't paint the tanks because I got um, three new tanks that I'm going to be installing. I just don't have them here yet. I'll paint them black before I install them. So yeah, that's how she turned out. I don't think it turned out too bad. <sighs> Only time will tell though. You never know. Sometimes you come back in the morning on a paint job. Well, at least I do. You guys probably don't. Your paint jobs are probably flawless. Sometimes it dries wonky overnight. We'll, we'll just see if it looks this clean in the morning because it actually looks fairly decent. Fairly decent. So like I said, I was going to have it prep. I was going to weld everything up, have it painted. I think it's like 10, 30, 11, not even sure. Time to go home. Hopefully this video turned out pretty good. I mean, if you want to be a big baller like me, you got to put in the long hours so that way you can have like, you know, the, how the song goes, one, two, three, four dollars in my bank account. My wife, I, I feel bad for her watching these videos. But look at the bright side. One day my three children will probably be even more embarrassed. Until the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, it's 1.44 a.m.